We're now asked to solve a system of two equations with two variables. I'm going to solve this using a method that you probably learned at some point in one of your algebra classes um, using the elimination method. So in this method, uh, we try to eliminate one of the variables. So somehow find a way of combining the two equations uh, so that one of the variables is eliminated. Uh, we could eliminate the x's uh, from this system of equations if we multiply the first equation by 2 and multiply the second equation by 3. That way our leading terms would be positive 6x here and negative 6x here. So when we, com when we add those equations, uh, the x variables, the x terms would be eliminated. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to do uh, 2 times equation 1 which would give us, uh, let's see, so 2 times the um, 3x would give us 6x. 2 times the 2y would give us positive 4y. And 2 times 6 would give us 12. Now I will multiply the second equation, each term in the second equation, by 3. If we do that, 3 times negative 2x gives us negative 6x. And notice when we add these equations now, the uh, x variable will be eliminated. 3 times the 5y will be positive 15y. Oops. Okay, hopefully you can read that all right. And then 2, uh, sorry, 3 times 0, either way, that's 0. And now add the equations. So this 6x minus 6x, those are gone. 4y plus 15y, so that's 19y equals 12 plus 0. So y is equal to 12 nineteenths. So we have a value for y, but the solution to this system of equations involving x and y needs to be an ordered pair, an xy pair. So we know that the y value is 12 nineteenths. We now need to find the x value. And you would find that by substituting the 12 nineteenths into either equation. That's the deal with the uh, system of equations. We should get the same x value either way, because this xy pair should satisfy both equations. I'll go uh, to equation 1. So 3 times x plus 2 times y, which we know now is 12 nineteenths, should equal 6. So 3x plus, if I multiply straight across here, 2 times 12, so 24 over 1 times 19 equals 6. So now the goal is to isolate x, so I would oops, subtract 24 nineteenths from both sides. And now we'll have to do a little fraction arithmetic, but that's okay. So to combine the 6 minus 24 nineteenths, uh, I'm going to go through the fraction arithmetic here, especially early in the semester. It's nice to review. So we could think of the 6 as 6 over 1, and I'll do some scratch work in blue off to the side here. Um, to subtract those fractions, I need a common denominator, so I can multiply top and bottom here by 19. And that would result in uh, 6 times 19, that's 114 over 19, minus 24 over 19 is equal to 90 over 19. So that's what goes here, 90 over 19. And then uh, divide both sides by 3 to isolate the x, which is the same as multiplying by 1 third, dividing by 3. And so we could divide the 90 by 3, and that would give us 30. So our x value here is 30 over 19. And this ordered pair is the solution to the system of two equations with two variables.